curry leaves are an easy to grow herb in your garden in today's episode we look at the propagation pruning replanting and harvest of curry leaf plants curry leaves are most commonly propagated via seeds you can see a plant here that's now producing flowers and buds here you can see a close up of the buds of the curry leaf plant and what's going to happen is in the summer season it will slowly start flowering into this beautiful white flowers and soon these white flowers will turn into seeds now seeds are the easiest way to propagate curry leaf plants although you can propagate them by removing the uh, the suckers or the plants that grow around it here you can see the full grown curry leaf plant and this is the stage that you should harvest your curry leaf seeds let them become really dark and really uh, totally black in color and here you can see some uh, seeds that have matured versus the green ones that haven't matured so you should be only harvesting the seeds that are totally black and plump and uh, these are ready to be propagated into curry leaf plants so if you look at the seed it's nice and plump fresh curry leaf seeds are the way to go you can see here the seed if you take a look closely it already shows uh, some kind of a root system growing right there and uh, this will easily grow into a curry leaf plant uh, once we start the seeds now i'm using a good seed starting mix if you want to use a seed starting mix uh, do not use any kind of soil you can use coconut core or peat moss mixed in with perlite or vermiculite and a little bit of worm castings if you need the worm castings will give a little bit of nutrition to the plants uh, while they germinate and grow you do not want to use any kind of soil especially no hard soil because uh, that will prevent a good germination for your curry leaf seeds so as you can see here we are planting one seed per a square here in the seed starting uh, mix make sure you keep the seeds moist that will ensure good germination and curry leaf plants usually take about 15 days to germinate so please be patient with your curry leaf seeds it will take a while to germinate but uh, they do have a decent germination rate of about 90% Now let's look at pruning the curry leaf plant. Now it's very important that you start pruning your plant early in its growth stage. So as you can see here this plant is about uh, around 12 inches in height and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about 3 to 4 inches from the top and then prune it right there. Now make sure you make a nice sharp cut. So as you can see here I realized that my cut was not too sharp. so i just made a little cut a little below the area that i had earlier cut into and you can see here within a few weeks the plant will produce side shoots and branch into a very bushy plant this is what you want your plant to look like now you need to make sure that you repot your curry leaf tree or your curry leaf plant every year or every 2 years depending on what size of container you use here i am transferring this curry leaf plant from this 5 gallon uh, pot as you can see here it's not completely root bound but uh, the growing season has just started and i want to make sure that uh, this curry leaf plant gets all the room that it needs to grow in a larger container so as you can see here we are transferring this into a 15 gallon pot this should hold a lot of soil and this should be good for the curry leaf plant for at least the next 2 years maybe 3 years after which uh, we will uh, evaluate what to do with the plant so as you can see here uh, we have made a little hole enough to uh, put the curry leaf plant in and what we'll be doing is we'll basically be transferring this plant from the older pot which we just removed into this uh, newer container Now make sure that you just uh, remove a little bit of soil from the bottom this stimulates the roots to grow in a much better way and after you do that you can uh, test how much soil you need by just putting the plant inside and then if you need to remove more soil 
as I'm doing here you can do that before you place the plant inside the planting hole in your new pot now if you want to use slow release fertilizers this is a good time to mix it in the slow release fertilizers will stay in the soil for about three months so you will have to replace them after three months if you are going to be using a liquid fertilizer like I do uh, I just use the potting mix and then uh, make sure that I have enough soil around the plants and make sure you compact the soil very well around the plants this is a mature plant and it needs a lot of support to stay straight and grow well now if you end up with the less soil on the top part of the pot or the container just mix in some peat moss, perlite and vermiculite maybe even some manure and that should fill the top part of your container now once you repot your curry leaf tree or your curry leaf plant it's important that you prune it and encourage more growth now since the roots will have more area to grow the first thing you will need to do is water your plants very well make sure that the soil settles down very well through the gaps and we will use the same technique to prune our plants we will leave about three to four inches from the top and then harvest our curry leaves now this is the best way to harvest curry leaves if you have tops that have not grown yet you can get a really good harvest by just chopping off the tops of the plant and this encourages a better growth a more bushy growth for your plants so as you can see here this is a plant and at this stage you can also make sure that there are enough growing tips and if not if you see any shoots that remain to be pruned you can prune them now this is a good time to prune them after repotting it's very important that you add a good fertilizer to your plant now you can use one of the fertilizers that you see on your screen here and this will really help the plant to grow well after repotting now let's talk about the harvest of the curry leaves when harvesting curry leaves a lot of people make this mistake of harvesting like what I'm showing you here leaving skeletons on the plant and they usually start from the bottom part of the plant and then just harvest the leaves leaving skeletons of the leaflets as you can see there so this is our harvest of the leaves but what has happened here is these skeletons remain and they're no good to the plant so this is not the right way to harvest the curry leaves if you do not want to harvest the tops I will tell you another technique harvest at the petiole which is what you see on the diagram here this is a very easy technique all you do is start from the bottom part of the stems and then grab the whole petiole or the leaflet and then start harvesting the entire leaflet so you're not harvesting leaves but you're harvesting the entire leaflet and remove any skeletons that are there on the plant this is the other way you should harvest your curry leaves not just harvest the leaves but harvest the entire leaflet so there we have it folks uh, that was our episode on growing the curry leaf tree or the curry leaf plant I'd like to know from you if you've tried growing this in your garden if you've requested seeds from me please remember that you are in the queue and we did not have any seeds till now this year but as soon as we have some seeds we will send it out to you just remember that there are a lot of requests so by the time your seeds arrive it might take some time we'll see you again soon Happy gardening.